The alarm went off before we could even talk. Oh, that's too bad, bud. But at least you have people who want to come and visit you. My family hasn't been to see me since my trial. You eat nine people and all of a sudden they don't know who you are anymore. Wait. What? Did you say eat people? Are you a cannibal, Caleb? Well, that's not how I would define myself. If we're going by what I'm most passionate about, I would say that I'm a woodworker. Why did you think I was in protective custody? I don't know. I guess I hoped you were another cop wrongly convicted of crimes you didn't commit. Nope. I did all my stuff and more. There's tons they can't even trace to me. The secret is eating the evidence. Okay. This is just great. I don't see anyone from the outside for another three weeks, and my only friend here is a cannibal. Woodworker. Look, if you really want to talk to people on the outside, just get a cell phone. Yeah, that'd be great, but it's illegal, right? There's this guy in Gen Pop, Romero. He can smuggle anything into this place. Phones, drugs, big bag of hair. Why would you want that? You know what? Don't tell me. The less I know about you, the better. OK, let's find this Romero guy. Right now, I really want to chop down on his meat. Caleb. Oh, this is scary. I don't like being so near Gen Pop. It's fine. It's not like they're all waiting for an opportunity to kill us. I'm sure some of them are actually nice. Like this gentle giant here. Hello, sir. What brings you to the fence today? Just here to stab you if you get too close. Neat. Caleb, remind me not to stand too close to the fence. Will do. Oh, here's Romero. So what's up? You need another bag of hair? Yeah. No. We'll talk later. Same order, though. About whatever, Jake, whenever. Jake, 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 Jake. I gotta go. Jake. Hey, Warden. What's up? What the hell are these? I found them doing a sweep of your bunks. Oh, uh, we got those at the commissary. Picante beef? You think I don't know that picante beef is the street flavor? I was being kind to you by putting you two in protective custody. But if you're going to bring contraband into my prison and flaunt my rules, pack your bags. You're going to Gen Pop. Gen Pop? But my tough prison beard hasn't fully grown in yet. Just give me six or seven more years. I can't believe we're going to Gen Pop. A cop and a cannibal? Everyone's going to be trying to kill us. I know. What are we going to do? You're a psychopath. You can protect us in there, right? I mean, you killed and ate a bunch of people. They were children, Jake. Weak little children. One conk on the head was all it took. Damn it. I can't believe I'm friends with a cowardly cannibal. Ugh, cream turkey. You know what I could really go for? It. A people pot pie. First of all, Jake, great alliteration. Second of all, just because I was arrested for cannibalism doesn't mean that all I like to eat is people. I was going to say a chicken burrito. But man, my cousin was so tasty. Oh, come on. All right, there's Wilson. I'll go make him mad. When he attacks me, you film it. Then afterwards, we'll meet up in the bathroom. OK, great. What are you going to do to get him angry? Well. I don't know him, so I'm not sure what buttons to push, but I'm sure if I try enough things, something will set him off. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Get back to your table. Yeah, you know I would, except for... <gasps> oh! oh my god, that's all it took? I told you to get back to your table! Oh, god. Oh, god. Are you okay? Yeah, what hurts the most is knowing that prisoners are treated this way every day in our penal system. Also, he kicked me in the wiener a bunch. Mm. Show me the video. I'll send it to Charles until you got it anonymously, and then... Oh! oh my god, that's all it took? Caleb, is this it? Did you film yourself the whole time? Okay, look, I've been in prison for 15 years. I'm not good with new technology. If you want somebody to lure a kid to a park using a Lycos chat room, I'm your man. Oh, look, just press this button and make it front-facing. Come on, let's try it again. Hey, Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you were pointed in the right direction that time. Yes, but there was a different issue. Caleb, you added the Fiesta filter? I'm doing the best I can. Tell that to my wiener. I'm doing no, the No, don't really. Gosh. OK, how'd you screw it up this time? I didn't. I got everything. I even zoomed in for some close-ups. Oh, thank god. I was so sure that something was going to go wrong. Hey there, Peralta. Oh, I'll take that phone now. Hey, hmm. I'm in a bind. I need your help. That's what friends are for. Well, friends might be a bit of a stretch. I mean, you're a cannibal that ate six people. Nine and a half. Yep, worse. Anyway, here are my options. A, I keep Hestering Romero to tell me where the drugs are. He realizes I'm a snitch, and then he castrates me and kicks me to death. That's not great. What's option B? I back off Romero, never find out where the drugs are. The warden tells everyone I'm a snitch, and then Romero castrates me and kicks me to death. Mm. Both options sound... A little castrate -y. Yeah. yeah. That's what I keep bumping up against, too. Well, you know, whenever I'm backed into a corner, I just do what I do best. <laughs> I drive across country, forge a new identity, and then take a job as a camp counselor. Oh, my god. Caleb, 
You're a genius. I wouldn't say genius. That camp ran a pretty extensive background check. No, not that. Your past is a straight up nightmare. But I need to do what I do best. Be a cop, work the case, and figure out where the drugs are on my own. Then you tell the warden, and the warden will bust Romero. And Romero won't think I'm a snitch because he never told me where they are. All right, this is gonna be tough. I'm really gonna have to thread the needle. Oh, I got really good at threading needles. Back when you were making your skin suit, I know. Look, I like being friends with you, but you have to stop bringing that up. But we're friends. <laughs> Don't let them see us blend in. I gotta tell you, cop work is a lot like cannibal work. Really? Oh, yeah. The watching, the following, the waiting for soccer practice to end. Come on, man. I can't believe this. I'm gonna die in here, and then you're gonna eat my castrated body. I guess, but it'd be a pretty boring meal without dessert. Oh, my god. Oh, no. Romero's headed towards us, and he looks angry. Well, he always looks angry. Maybe it's not directed at you. No, now he's pointing at you. This is bad. Yeah, I know it's bad. The warden took my entire stash of soap. Apparently, someone told him it was Blizz. And you want me to help you figure out who it was? Well, it was Tank. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't Tank. It was me. Tank, I came clean and saved your life. Now you owe me. No, I don't. I told you what I do to Stitches. Hold oh, Romero. Caleb, what are you doing? It's OK, Jake. I got this. Peralta is my best friend. If you want to kill him, you're going to have to kill me first. Because friendship. Ooh. Oh my God, he stabbed me, Jake! Everybody get on the ground! Now! You're next, Peralta. You better sleep with one eye open. Ow, 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 ow. He poked me in my tummy. Peralta. <gasps> Warden. Your squad busted Melanie Hawkins. What? You're getting up. Come with me. Okay. Wait. Can I do one thing first? I wanted to say goodbye. I can't believe you saved my life. I would not do it again. It really hurt. No, but you did do it. And I regret it so much. Caleb, you're ruining this. Look, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. You got me through this. I'm gonna miss you. Aw, put it there, pal. <laughs> I have an idea. We need to get into the mind of a sicko. And the only way to do that is with the help of another sicko. Jake, it's so good to see you. Come give me a hug. I'm not going to eat you. Also, don't hug me, because I will try to eat you. This is such a surprise. I haven't seen you since I transferred here. How's Amy? She's great. We're married, and she's a sergeant now. Wow. Yeah. How's everything here? You know, same old, same old. Guess who's here? Herman. Herman. Always playing Yahtzee. Knew everybody's name. Worship Satan. Did he? He never mentioned that. <laughs> You wouldn't shut up about it. It is exhausting. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm Charles. I'm Jake's best friend. Charles, he's serving three life sentences. No need to flex. So, Caleb, we're tracking a serial killer, and I was thinking you could help us get inside his head. Just because I ate humans doesn't mean that I'm inhuman, Jake. Caleb, come on, that's not what I meant. I'm just kidding. I'm probably friends with the guy online. <laughs> What's his deal? Well, he's been murdering young men and cutting out their hearts. Ooh. What? I would never eat a heart. I stick to the normal stuff, butts and thighs. One time I ate a foot, but it was nasty. Yeah, I can see that. You know what? There was some weird guy on the forum recently. The forum? Yeah, it's a chat room for people who like to talk about eating human beings, but definitely won't act on it. Wink. Yeah, it's hosted on Reddit. Reddit. Obviously. Anyways, he showed up from out of nowhere asking questions about cutting out hearts. Really? Do you know anything else about him? I'd never seen him on there before, but you could check the logs. I'll approve you. I'm an admin. Oh, oh you might want to switch to incognito mode. Otherwise, your targeted ass will be pretty cannibal specific. Ah, huh, good to know. Well, it was good to see you, Caleb. Send me that info. <laughs> Perhaps we should pay your cannibal friend another visit. I wouldn't say they're friends so much as ex cellmates. No. It's true, we're friends. He ate kids! Well, people are complicated. No, I'll tell you one thing, you are not looking for a cannibal. Why do you say that? With all that blood, no self-respecting cannibal would waste all that sauce. See, Charles, he's a foodie like you. Who are you? Can I see that picture again? Oh, man, those are some nice tools. I would love to spread some ribs using that sternum retractor, but they only sell those to hospitals. Wait a minute. What'd you just say? I said I'd love to get my little fingies and some chesties. No, 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 not the super gross part. Surgery grade tools, precise incisions around the heart, and there was no ice at the motel. Because the perp was using it for the hearts. We're not looking for a serial killer. He stole the hearts for a transplant. Boom, we solved it. Boyo, give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> for the record, I'm not a cannibal anymore. My new passion is needlepoint embroidery. Look at these. Two parrots in love. <laughs> A turtle 
with a monocle and a top hat. Wow, <laughs> it's so intricate. How do you... <laughs> okay, you got me. I was gonna eat you. That's still my thing. It's even affected my needlepoint. Look at this. Liver. A heart. Butt. An arm. Mmm.